So we are continuing with the May 2019. Negative 3 squared plus negative 2 squared is equal to. So we know when we square a number, it means the number times itself. So negative 3 times negative 3 plus negative 2 times negative 2. And this will give us 9. This will also give us 4. When we put the 2 together, we get 13. Therefore, the correct answer is C. What number, when added to one whole number, 1 over 3 gives 2? So, one whole number, 1 over 3. We let the number be X. Then we add it to one whole number, 1 over 3. So, let us now change this to improper fraction to get 4 over 3. 1 times 3 is 3 plus 1 is 4 all over 3. Now we clear the fraction by multiplying through by 3. So multiplying through by 3 we get this. Now let's simplify to get 4 plus 3x is equal to 6. Let's group like terms to get 3x is equal to 6 minus 4. This will give us 3x equal to divide both sides by 3 to get x is equal to 2 over 3. We want to simplify this. 11.1 divided by 0 0.01 is equal to 2. So we know that we want to simplify this. So let us rewrite this as a fraction. So this will give us 1, 1, 1 over 10 divided by 1 divided by 100. So let's multiply by the reciprocal of this. So that will give us 1, 1, 1 over 10 times 100 over 1. Now let us cancel. You know, 10 can go into 100 10 times. Then we are left with 101. 111 over 1 times 10 over 1. So we multiply this by this, we get 1000 and we get 1110 over 1. So this will give us our answer 1110. So this is our fourth question. 12 and a half percent of a sum of money is 40. What is the sum of money? So to work this, we let the sum of money be S. Then 12 percent of S to be equal to 40 dollars. So now let's go. So the off means multiplication, so 12 and half percent means 12 and half all over 100 of S is equal to 40. Now 12 and half is the same as 12.5 over 100. Now divided by 100, we just move the decimal point to the back twice. So we get 0.125 S equal 40. We have several ways that you can move from this stage. Can decide to multiply through by 100 but I'm going this way so now I can divide both sides by 0 0.125 to get s is equal to 40 dollars divided by 0 0.125 now I want to change this one back to fraction to get 40 divided by 125 over 1000 now I can multiply by the reciprocal to get 40 times 1000 over 125. Now I can divide 5 can go into 48 times and go into 125 25 times. Now we know 25 can go into 100 four times. So that will give us 40. 25 into 100 four times, which means to go into 1040 times. Now, if we multiply 8 times 40, so 8 by 4 is 32, then 
times the 10 that will give us 320 so the correct answer is B now let's move on to the next question question 5 a test was marked out of 80 a boy scored 60 percent of the marks on the test how many marks did he score so 60 percent of 80 that is what we are calculating now we convert this to present we convert this to over 100 so 60 over 100 times 80 and this is the same as 6 over 10 so this cancels this we have 6 over 10 then 10 can go into 80 8 times so 6 times 8 is 48 so the boy scored 48 questions out of the 80 now the square root of 181 lies between which two numbers now you know that 181 is greater than 169 we look for two square numbers that are closer to this so the closest is this 181 is greater than 169 and it is less than 196 now we square root each term to get square root of 169 is less than square root of 181 is less than square root of 196 now you know that square root uh, 169 is 13 squared and 14 squared is 196 so if you simplify this you get 13 is less than square root of 189 then 181 and this one too is less than 14 therefore it's between 13 and 14 now let's go to the seventh question which of the following set is defined by this x belong to the integers z means integers then we have negative 2 is less or equal to x is less or equal to 4 so we know that this is the same as integers between negative 2 and 4 inclusive so let's list them so from negative 2 the next integer is negative 1 the next is 0 the next is 1 2 3 and 4 therefore the correct answer is this now let's go to the eighth question if q is equal to this q is having a set with element a b c how many subsets can be obtained from the set q so number of subsets is given by 2 exponent n 2 exponent n where n is the number of elements in the set so the given set is a q having element 1 2 3 therefore n is equal to 3 just substitute n equal 3 into this to get 2 exponent 3 therefore the correct answer is d now let's go to the ninth question so this is the tenth question we have this P is equal to prime numbers so the prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and 13 then we also have Q equal odd numbers we have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13 then we have the even numbers 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 and so on and so forth now if you find P intersection R P intersection R we get 2 then if you find Q intersection R Q intersection R there's no number that is common to this set therefore this set is empty then P intersection Q these two sets we have 3 we have 5, 7, 11, 13 and so on then P union Q we have 1 2, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13 and so on therefore the set that is empty is Q intersection R now this is the ninth question this is the ninth question so in the Venn diagram we have the cardinality of P is 5 cardinality of Q is 9 and 
canality of P union Q is 10 and this is intersecting set. You know the complement is 0. Complement of P and Q is 0. The intersection is not 0. So we can use the De Morgan's law. So with this, we just have to substitute this value. So the, we have 10 is equal to 5. This is 5. Then this is 9. And minus the intersection. So this will give us this. We just swap. We bring this one to this side of the equal sign to become positive. And we maintain this over here and send the 10 there to become negative. And if you simplify, you get 5 plus 9 is 14 minus 10 is 4. Therefore, the correct answer is A. Now, if you can still see this red thing here, it means you have not yet subscribed. So, you just have to click it so that the next upload, you see it is still red. You have to click it so that if I upload the next video, you'll be informed. Click the bell icon too, so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.